This is Idowu David for Idowu Culture and West. You are welcome back to our channel. This is what we are going to be making today. You can see the pocket, the uh, placket, the net tourney. This is senator wear. Please like and subscribe to our channel. If you are a new subscriber, please subscribe to our channel. And if you are returning, come, welcome back. Now we need to shape for the soda. So that's slanting. The first thing is that we open it and then we fold it into two. Then we now refold it again into four this time to make it so that we can shape out our soda to cut our top. The first thing we are doing is that we are taking the length. That is the vertical measurement. We are cutting 40 inches. Then it's folded into two. Then we cut 40 inches. Then this is our horizontal measurement. Now we measure 38, 28. We fold it into two because our boss is 44. Then we want to divide the 44 by four, mm -hmm. which is 11 inches. Mm -hmm. But instead of 11 inches, mm -hmm. we are cutting 14, inch, 14 inches or 15 inches, depending on the allowances that you are giving it. Now, we had a three inches allowance. This for is for our soda slanting. We are folding three inches. It depends on how sloppy you want the soda to be. Now, we are cutting out the soda for both front and back together. We are returning the back to the front. Remember, we, when we were cutting, we calculated it together. We, that is why we cut 14 inches instead of 35. We have five inches to be as allowance for both front and back, and with the folding of two inches. Remember to always iron your cloth. To iron your fabric, it helps so that your cutting will be accurate. To remove our soda, we are trying to transfer our measurement. Our soda is 18 inches, but 18 inches divided by two, we have nine inches. Then we put half inches sewing allowance that is why we are cutting 9.5 inches. We are marking it. Then the depth, now we want to check our armpit. That is our hand mold. We are using 22 inches. Then we divide it by two. We have 10.5 inches. That is what we are measuring her to have our hand mold. We are going to connect the two lines. Now the two lines intersect. Because we are cutting the front, we need to go in by half inches. But what we do, if you don't know how to calculate this area, you can check your ball circumference. You divide it by six and you had one inches, then you know your armpit more. But you can as well take the measurement direct from the client like this but you must only confirm to make sure that you have what you are looking for especially after you've taken out your boss measurement so that it should be it will fit for whoever you take the measurement for but now you can see now we have to check cross check the measurement again then we are trying to check for our bust measurement remember our boss is 11 inches because we have 44 inches divided by 4 then 11 inches you cannot put allowance if you are you like 
Now we are using two inches allowance. Then we want to check our tummy measurement. Our tummy is lesser than our bust by two inches, which we are taking the measurement hard also. If we have to, if we measure 12 inches at the bust level, that means we are measuring like 11 inches at tummy level. But depend on the climb measurement. But the tummy is only lower than the bust. Then the third one we are taking now is our hip measurement. Our hip is only bigger than our bust. Most of the time by two inches or more. Now our hip, we are using hip of 25 inches here. That is what we are taking. 25 divided by two. We have 12 and a half. Now, this is still our allowance. We need to connect the points together. I love using free hand, but you can use ruler. But I love using free hand so that it will be easy for everybody to be along. I want to carry everybody along so that you won't say because you don't have food like you are not getting it. But now we are trying to place our measurement on top. We are placing our measurement on top. Now our measurement, remember, is 35 inches. That is the top line we are looking for. And this are 35 inches. Then we have space for our folding allowance. But here we are having like three point something inches. We can do from two inches and above. But I always like to add the two allowance in case if the client changes his mind, I will have something to play with. Then the next thing I will do here is that I will separate the front from the back. Now I'm taking the excess away from the shoulder. You can see. Then I, I swear I mark my in my neck point now i'm dividing the front and the back because i call the two together and now you can see this is the front and the other one is the back because the back shoulder is returning to the front next thing on the line is our sleeve now we will call, try to call the two sleeves together but now our armpit mode is 22. Now we have to fold to get the armpit mode. Now that is 11, and we are folding 10 and a half or 11 inches depends. But because of our cuff, I'm just folding 10 and a half. Try to trim it. And that is my mode. I've already explained how to cut this aspect in one of our video, But you still need to cross-check your measurement to make sure that it's up to what you are looking for. In my own case, I'm looking for 22 inches, which is okay for me. There is 12 inches. Look, I've already folded the cloth into two. Now, my sleep length I'm looking for is 16 inches. I'm trying to sew three quarter, but instead of 16 inches, this is 16 inches, but I will measure the allowance for folding. Now I'm using four inches. Then this is my round sleeve. My round sleeve is 12 inches. Then I need to mark six inches because I already folded into two. Then my so your allowance, I'm putting one and a half inches. No, that is for my folding allowance. Now I have my bicep measured, which is about 13 and a half inches. That is, I will be cutting, marking like seven inches there since it's like almost 14 inches. Then I will now connect it to my armpit mode. Then 
let me use ruler to connect these points together I'll trim this out, then I will use it to mirror the second uh, the second sleeve. Next thing on the line now is my facing. I will use my front pattern to mirror the facing so that I can cut it out. It's what I will use to turn the back. I will use my back pattern. The next thing on the line is my facing. I'm trying to use the back pattern to mirror the facing out. If I will use it, that is what I will use to turn the back. This is my neck marking. Look, I'm not cutting out the neck yet. I'm trying to use like eight inches. You can give any shape you want, but my I'm just cutting it straight. The next thing on the line is our blanket. Uh, if you watch now, the length of my blanket is 15 inches. Then the breadth, the wideness is 1.2 inches. I will now use it as a dummy to cut the fabric. Now, the you can see how I place it on the fabric. I leave some extra allowance. I'm using color, color gum. It's a little bit thick. Now I'm putting the gummy area to face the fabric so that I can gum it on that fabric. Now this is any gum so that it can be able to stick. I want to use it to turn. You can see the way I'm folding it. Then I will iron it down. The next thing is to fold it, then I will iron it down too. Then I will trim. Now you can see, I want to measure nine inches down. This will be the up aspect then I will reduce the down aspect to that 9 inches spot. Hemming. Then I want to hem it down just to do the finish finishing work here. See, I'm using the emmy gun to hold it down, it makes it more easy once I gum it. I'll turn it all over. This is the downside. Trying to give it shape here. I see I'm hemming it down. Now we want to make it V at the bottom side.
can decide to leave it straight but i just want to get the v cuff at the down of the blanket now i use a mega tool. you can see what we achieve at the end of the day next thing we are trying to do is to cut our neck piping we fold it in a triangular form then check your measurement we are looking for 17.5 because the neck is 17.5, but we'll cut above 17.5. You can see I'm trying to hem it down. That will turn the fabric on it and higher. Then you can see I'm measuring one inches out. This is what I will cut out. Now, the, I only cut out the up one, up part. Now, the down part, I need to put the tiny allowance, which is half inches. You can see I'm cutting with allowance. Now, I'm folding half the allowance that I put. I first use iron to fold it out. You can see now I finished ironing. What I need to do next is to fold it into two. You can see how I'm folding it. Next thing is to use the higher to make it, to give it an arc form. You can see I'm trying to make it in a form of arc or circular so that it should be easy for me to use it to turn the neck. It's the iron that is doing this for me. As I'm ironing, I'm covering it. Now for the sleeve, I'm trying to turn the, the allowance that I put. You remember we put like three inches allowance to turn the sleeve front. Then I will still confirm my measurement and leave the half inches for journey. My measurement is 16 inches, which is like this. Now, this is my facing that I cut that I used the back pattern to mirror the other time. Now I just put the one inches in, then iron it. Then I want to use it to go on the main body. That is the back pattern. The first thing is for me to hem it down. This is my back pattern. You can see I'm trying to place the facing, to face the front. I'm using the back of the facing to face the front of the fabric. Take note. Now, I will, this I will iron it down, go me down with Emigo.